What? Play any heist finale over the next seven days to collectively steal GTA's $100 billion as a community. It'll count towards the total. If the target is achieved by November 18th, we'll reward everybody. Anyone who plays between now and November 18th will get a special bonus of a million dollars. Damn, dude. And I guarantee you they're already doing Christmas shit. Are you, uh... Oh, okay, you're still on Rocket League. I'm at 90%, but you know how I be. Also, I think your mic is muted. Definitely is. I've been fucking talking to myself. Fuck you, number one, for responding to a muted damn mic, because I said something and your response was spot on to having what my mic unmuted. I'll be waiting for you, and you were just like, yeah, I'm on 90%, but you know how that shit goes. And then you just like started talking about the other shit. Oh yeah, I think your mic's muted. Wait! Nigga, what you say that for? Why'd you hear me? <laughs> I <laughs> didn't hear you. That's the reason I thought it was. I'm responsible. She was waiting for you when it happened. That's funny as hell. I f I'm fucking fried, but I'm not. I'm just stupid. We turn to each other. Come on, read his head again. Inviting me to come to it. Bro, I'm just gonna start writing creepy stories for fucking money. Alright, I'm sending you an invite. Stayed away, content for the first time in years. Then, a familiar, disembodied voice roared into my ear and poisoned my mind. What you're feeling isn't real. By this point, I was also familiar with the voices and the antics. I ignored its statement. She does this to every tenant. She's a sick top dress. I was tempted to reply. Conversing was forbidden. I couldn't afford a broken rule this close to the finish line. Only two people are allowed in, Jack. Two. It's a simple rule. What did that have to do with anything? What was the voice up to? Jessica was one of the two. Despite my unrest, I continued to buy you my You didn't check her last name, did you, oh, bitch? Damn, I ain't got no money in my wall safe. What the fuck? Why? Concentration. The lights in the room had changed. I rolled out from underneath the bed and saw her writhing in the corner. A 
sun was coming up over the horizon outside. This was my chance. I raced over to Jet Jessica and clenched her neck. She struggled, but was too weak to break free. I forced her against the window. Her skin melted, dripping like candle wax to the floor. Her head burned to a crisp. I looked into her eyes for even a shred of humanity. Something that might convince me to spare her for all she'd meant to me. There was none. Only malice. In that moment, I sincerely wished that she'd been real. Goodbye, Jessica. With as much force as Duggan Monster, I pushed her through the window. The form disintegrated before it reached the ground. The wind carried her ashes away into the endless expanse of the ocean. She was no more. The house was still. Hours passed. As my rental period came to a close, I sat in the living room and reflected on the events of the week. In a weird way, I had come to terms with Leslie's death. The guilt would always be there, but I felt I could move on now, free of the restraints that once bound me. Knock, knock. I opened the door and let Garrett in. Your fairy awaits. I nodded and gathered my things. I was anxious to leave. I felt the need to ask him something first. Garrett, what is this place? Smart. Many words come to mind. I personally think it's a mirror, showing us ourselves in a way we never thought possible. A place where our past and present intersect. Perhaps the right word for it is closure. I smiled. You might be onto something, Garrett. Blended. Does that mean we'll leave a good roof? I chuckled. What? I'll do it right now. You open the app and click through to the listing. The confirmation caught my eye as I scrolled. Check out time. 12 p.m. I looked up at the readout at the top of my phone's display. 7.59 to 12 as I watched. I had someone in while the time was up, meaning a rule had been broken. A note at the end of the list came to mind as dread set in. I will come to collect you, but only when the rental period is over, not a moment sooner. That wasn't Carrot. I looked up to see him standing directly in front of me. Something wrong, Jack. I dropped my things and ran out of the dock as fast as I could. The ferry had just arrived, the real Garrett on board, motioning for me to hurry. After boarding, I turned back and looked at the house. One last time. A silhouette stood at the window, waving goodbye 